This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. And yes, this part came off. You can like scratch it off and I didn't do that, but as I bring it with me and my purse and stuff, it just naturally came off all the way. I already did a review of the Trader Joe's version of the sunscreen, so you could check that out. But disregarding the price, I'll be talking about the differences in the formula and how it feels. Um, and I'll just say if it's worth it in the end. I mean, this already knocked off a point for that. Come on, it's $48 or $38. Super Goop formula goes on feeling like a lightweight Vaseline if that makes sense, but it does sink in a bit faster than the Trader Joe's. Both finishes are identical. I cannot tell the difference between the two and they both do feel like a primer because they both have silica in them. And just like the Trader Joe's, they both start to feel greasy and thick and a bit heavy with reapplication, but still look like there's nothing there. Both sunscreens do exacerbate my redness when my skin is irritated, but the Super Goop doesn't burn my eyes unlike the Trader Joe's, which is a plus. Overall, I'd still buy the Trader Joe's because I do use this more generally on my body than my face.